Hi Aquarius, what is up and welcome, welcome, welcome to your January reading. How are you, my Aquarius? Oh my gosh, um, I have a funny story, but hold up. Whoa, 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 you have a funny story and it's called Hotness Queen of Wands. Hello. <laughs> After a heartbreak, what do we do? We level up and we are in our throne. Amazing. Because you're manifesting. You are manifesting beautiful things into your life. Um, Good energy. Great energy. Going with that passion. Awesome. I love it. This is for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Do I watch my Saturn? That's a hard yes. Do I watch my Mars? so you guys please don't get attached just to your sun sign right and if it's not january 2021 and you clicked on this video video <laughs> video discotheque um yeah your angels guided you here for this joke <laughs> um there must be a message for you seriously though so sit back enjoy and like i was saying hold up i have a funny story i was talking to this guy and you know we're talking we're talking and you know casually i was like oh so what's your sign casually very casually you guys you gotta do it casually you can't just straight up ask for your uh, time of birth right uh so he's like oh no um he gets all hesitant and like nervous he's like oh i don't want to tell you and like scared i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> i was like what sign dude you know calm down and then he finally tells me, he's like, I'm Aquarius. And I was like, what is going on? Nine of Cups, that's what's going on. Love, filling your own cup with love, independent, it, realizing, realizing you don't need anything external to be happy. And I don't even like the word happy. You know, I don't. Content, right? Beautiful. I was literally about to say beautiful. And who, who's in their head? Nine of Swords, someone's in their head two nines all right let's go um but yeah and he was like oh i'm an aquarius so who's out there sp uh, spreading uh bad stuff about aquarius he's like oh i heard the someone told me not and i was like dude and you guys please don't judge anyone on their signs and you know if it didn't work out with your ex trust me it was not about signs ayo we are here to elevate to work on ourselves right and to expand our consciousness so yeah focus on you don't focus on others because it's through changing yourself internally we change the universe around us thank you not sure who needed to hear that and i'm not even sure that was a funny story but here you go for my aquarius empress gorgeous gorgeous energy oh my gosh you're creating you are in your element you uh whatever you touch basically is growing yes she is um pregnant in this illustration what does that mean maybe some of you are pregnant but what it really means is anything you touch right now you give life you create you're fertile with ideas with knowledge beautiful energy if you want to start something now keep threes are creating start creating aquarius i don't threes are creating and that is exactly what you're doing three of cups you got three three on deck either you're coming back together with someone or you're just creating new ideas that you are in love with the hierophant we got the hierophant fives are change so you're probably changing your beliefs something that doesn't suit you anymore you're leaving it in 2020 you are not taking any old beliefs system thoughts that you had that were keeping you bound it's new baby and um a lot of you are working on your spirituality spiritual development you guys all of these are awesome two major arcanas right off the bat but let's see what you are trying to create with the three of cups and let's see if anyone's coming back ayo don't tell other signs i picked it for this reason i love my aquarius all right bottom of the deck is strength and what kind of strength is this you guys this is not physical strength she's not wrestling a lion right this she represents spiritual strength and the line represents material whatever it is that you feel bound or you can't resist right 
once you find the strength, spiritual strength, you can tackle anything. We're talking about um, addiction. We're talking about um, fear, anxiety. We're talking about anything, right? That you need your spiritual strength to tackle. It, it's basically saying you have it in you to tackle any obstacle the world throws at you. And this is what it's a peaceful information, yet it's the it's the biggest strength you have, right? And a lot of you need to two of cups. You need to tap into the source. What what is the source? Your higher self. Tap into it. Get aligned. Met, remember we saw the higher front. If you're just getting into spirituality, you're meditating. If you're not, you better start, right? Aquarius, I'm looking at you. All right, let's go three of cups. Eight of Cups. <laughs> that escalated quickly. The Moon. Oh my God. Could be dealing with a Pisces. We've got Leo. Okay. I see. Seven of Pentacles. I see. I see how you want to play this Aquarius. Knight of Cups. Okay. Six of Swords. Ooh. It just got heavy. Ooh. We got heavy. Six of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Four of Pentacles, come on, your overall energy, the Magician is back, baby. <laughs> Guess who's back, back again, the Magician, like I was saying earlier, you guys, through gaining the spiritual strength, you are able to recognize your talents, well, first of all, your failures or, you know, things that are not, um, make it uh, keeping you from elevating basically spiritually and what could that be anything that's low vibrational gossip something very simple but we don't think about low vibration um you know obviously the big one stealing blah 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 but you are once you recognize whatever flaws problems whatever you want to call it whatever you want to lay struggles let's say struggles you recognize your struggles and what's keeping you down and when you're able to tackle it from within, that's when you come into magician. That's when you realize every, the magician has all the tools, sword, cups, pentacles, and wands at its disposal. And every person, every soul on this planet has that. We're just, sometimes we aren't able to see it because we, we don't listen to our intuition, right? We are so focused in the material world. We don't, we're not aligned with ourselves, with our higher self. Once you become aligned, you realize all these tools are at your disposal. And that's what you're doing right now. You're creating for yourself. You're working. Slow seven of pentacles. Slowly but surely, you are working. And you're walking away. You Either you try to come together. This is your second rodeo with this uh, relationship, friendship, whatever situation you're in. But eight of cups. Eight of cups is realizing that the love is in there and you are tired you are tired of trying you are tired you guys the moon is here what is the moon the moon comes out at night it, it lights the way but it's very dim right it's not the sun you didn't get the sun card you know <laughs> it's not like ultimate happiness where you're shining you're bright the moon means going within things you cannot see the moon does light the way but it's pretty dim so you have to go within and listen to your intuition to pick the path that you want to go on, right? You cannot be listening to outside voices because there's a decision you have to make, right? There's a decision. And the moon is also a decision card. It's about which path you could be at a crossroads. And right now you got to real, you got to, um, you got to pick a path. Because you guys, there's a more walking away, six of swords, another walking away. But guess what? You can't walk away. You guys, you're telling me you can get on this boat? You can get on this little boat hanging on to old energies, hanging on to the past four of pentacles. Look look at the greed. Look at the greed in his face. He's unwilling. Some of you are unwilling to let go. And this is why we get, you guys, two confirmation cards to walk away and keep walking. Whatever it is. It could, once again, we don't know what it is. We don't know who it is. But you are holding on to something. Let's clarify. What are you holding on to? Um, Six of Swords for my Aquarius, please. Six of Swords for my Aquarius. 
<sighs> Knight of Swords. What is this drama? Someone came in and uh, it's causing drama. Knight of Swords is a knight that comes in rapidly, anxious, and just spews out information or whatever has been building up without having a plan, without having a, uh, you know, without expressing anything worth of value, if you will. You know, if we're going to go that far. And you're tired of it. You're walking away. You're, you're tired of this constant back and forth. Is it a toxic cycle? I don't, <laughs> I mean, it's for you. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to answer my own question, but you didn't need strength to walk away. You need a lot of strength to walk away and to let this go. Um, who's this Knight of Cups though? Who's this Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups, please, for my Aquarius. <gasps> Oof, judgment. Guys, what's judgment? And Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Judgment is the past coming back and you making the final decision, final call. Can you bring this? Judgment is about rebirth, but bringing something back to life, right? Ask yourself, do you have the strength, the energy, whatever it is, to bring this love? Because they're coming back. Knight of Cups. So here, this is the choice. This is the choice you're going to be making. Do you have the strength? Or not have it, I don't know what kind of strength you need, honestly. But judgment is here. The universe is, this is a major arcana, you guys. The universe is asking you to make a final choice because so what happens when we don't, uh, we don't we're not seeing a tower moment here but the universe will make it for you right clarifying um knight of cups what came out the fool the world and five of pentacles five of pentacles they feel left out right now they're feeling left out they're feeling left out on the cold because i mean you bounced you walked away why you why did you walk away you had to work you, you were you were working on yourself you were figuring stuff out and also, someone was breadcrumbing. I don't know who's breadcrumbing who. Six, uh, six of Pentacles here. It's like Six of Pentacles, depending where it's at, is either balance or just literally bre giving the bare minimum, right? Bare minimum here. And you were like, ba uh, bye. Like, you were like, bye. I'm, t I'm just tired. You come in and out. I mean, nothing is getting resolved. Thank you. So five of pentacles is here and they're coming back in full energy, giving another go, putting all of this aside and going for it. And the world is here, you guys. And this is individually up to you, whether you want to, the world can mean fresh new cycle, fresh new start. People changed, right? Different kind of energy. Or you finally, finally, finally walking away and releasing four of pentacles letting go of the energies and going for a brand new beginning starting from scratch but going for it but that's what the universe is on your side you guys, can i just show you something though can i just whatever whatever you decide whatever you decide to do and aquarius these are you know this is your own path i'm talking to god knows how many people Look, the universe, just know, just like literally know, you're being guided by your spirit guides. And you're, you guys, look at this outcome. Yellow, this is bright. I need to put on sunglasses. This is silly brightness. What's yellow? Vibrancy, life, happiness, rebirth. This is, these are crazy cards. Not only that, you also have the moon and judgment. What is that? Four, five, six, six major arcanas. So make, make the judgment call. Weigh out, weigh out your options. Don't rush, get grounded. Meditate, like I was saying earlier, meditate. And please get out of your head about it. Please get out of your head and go within. Not here, here. But any outcome you choose, just know that. You're being guided and happiness is ahead. Just get out of this uh, energy. Don't stay here, don't linger. 
the more you linger the more your uh ego gets comfortable and the longer it will keep you here thank you so much aquarius awesome reading if this resonated leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the bell we have fun here but most importantly we elevate and expand our consciousness thank you so much aquarius cross watchers namaste